Yo, quick video today. I'm gonna show you a React library used by giant companies like Subabase and Twitter that helps you create really clean number animations. Let's get to it. So the library we're gonna be looking at today is called NumberFlow, and in just one line of React code here, we're able to create this super smooth number animation. So you'll see as we transition from two to three digits, it accounts for that. And also anytime a digit changes, you'll see it rotates. So all we have to do is add this number flow component, and then we can style it through the class name using Tailwind. So here we can change the font size to font medium. We can also change the text size and possibly the text color. And it's that simple. Number flow also gives us a ton of different ways we can customize the behavior and look of the value. So we have this reference at the top for the basic example, but we also have currency and then stock percentage. So you'll notice that we have this format object we're attaching where we can specify the style of the number and then also a couple of other options based on that conditional. So here we're saying it's a currency and it's USD. So we can change it to euros and you'll see that's reflected there. And then we also have this trailing zero display option, which is telling us to eliminate any trailing zeros if they exist. So since we're starting at 99, you'll see that if we remove this, it's actually going to show two more zeros. For the stock percentage example, we have this conditional class we're rendering based on if the percentage is greater than zero or not. So that's going to make the stock percentage either green or red, as you'll see. And then we're also saying that it's going to be a percent, which is added here. And then we have the sign display is always. So that's always going to show a negative or a positive sign. Now, the number flow API is actually pretty extensive, and it gives you granular control over things like the animation timings, and then also adding, for instance, a prefix or a suffix. So we have the tilde and then per month. It also has some hooks like when the animation starts and finishes, and then you can specify the locale as well. But what I would really recommend if you're gonna be using this library is going to their examples page, where you can see a bunch of pre-built components that are actually extremely practical. So here we have this incrementer and decrementer. It looks very nice. You can just copy the code here if you want. If you're not using React, you can do Vue, Svelte, or Vanilla.js as well. We have this activity bar, which looks very close to Twitter's because Twitter actually uses number flow. So if you see your likes increment on Twitter, they're using number flow. It's pretty cool. We also have the slider, which cancels the animation of the number if we slide too quickly. And then also this countdown. So if you're making a clock, this looks very clean. And that's the number flow library. So I hope you didn't mind the shorter video today. It is a small library, so I didn't want to take up too much of your time. But if you want to see more content like this, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.